Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 4 to 28 reads, Then I looked, and behold a whirlwind was coming out of the north, a great cloud with raging fire engulfing itself, and brightness was all around it, and radiating out of its midst like the color of amber, out of the midst of the fire. Also from within it came the likeness of four living creatures, and this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. Each one had four faces, and each one had four wings. Their legs were straight, and the soles of their feet were like the soles of calves' feet. They sparkled like the color of burnished bronze. The hands of a man were under their wings on their four sides, and each of the four had faces and wings. Their wings touched one another. The creatures did not turn when they went, but each one went straight forward. As for the likeness of their faces, each had the face of a man. Each of the four had the face of a lion on the right side. Each of the four had the face of an ox on the left side. And each of the four had the face of an eagle. Thus were their faces. Their wings stretched upward. Two wings of each one touched one another. And two covered their bodies and each one went straight forward. They went wherever the Spirit wanted to go, and they did not turn when they went. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire, like the appearance of torches going back and forth among the living creatures. The fire was bright, and out of the fire went lightning, and the living creatures ran back and forth, in appearance like a flash of lightning. Now as I looked at the living creatures, behold, a wheel was on the earth beside each living creature with its four faces. The appearance of the wheels and their workings was like the color of beryl, and all four had the same likeness. The appearance of their workings was, as it were, a wheel in the middle of a wheel. When they moved, they went toward any one of four directions. They did not turn aside when they went. As for their rims, they were so high, they were awesome, and their rims were full of eyes, all around the four of them. When the living creatures went, the wheels went beside them, and when the living creatures were lifted from the earth, the wheels were lifted. Wherever the Spirit wanted to go, they went, because there the Spirit went. And the wheels were lifted together with them, for the spirit of the living creatures was in the wheels. When those went, these went. When those stood, these stood. And when those were lifted from the earth, the wheels were lifted up together with them, for the spirit of the living creatures was in the wheels. The likeness of the firmament above the heads of the living creatures was like the color of an awesome crystal stretched out over their heads, and under the firmament their wings spread out straight, one toward another. Each one had two which covered one side, and each one had two which covered the other side of the body. When they went I heard the noise of their wings, like the noise of many waters, like the voice of the Almighty, a tumult, like the noise of an army. And when they stood still, they let down their wings. A voice came from above the firmament that was over their heads. Whenever they stood, they let down their wings. And above the firmament over their heads was the likeness of a throne, in appearance like a sapphire stone. On the likeness of the throne was a likeness with the appearance of a man high above it. Also, from the appearance of his waist and upward, I saw, as it were, the color of amber, with the appearance of fire all around within it. And from the appearance of his waist and downward, I saw, as it were, the appearance of fire with brightness all around. Like the appearance of a rainbow in a cloud on a rainy day, so was the appearance of the brightness all around it. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. So, when I saw it, I fell on my face, 
and I heard a voice of one speaking. Let us also look at Zechariah chapter 5, verse 5 to 11. Then the angel that talked with me went forth and said unto me, Lift up now thine eyes, and see what is this that goeth forth. And I said, What is it? And he said, This is an ephah that goeth forth. He said, Moreover, this is their resemblance through all the earth. And behold, there was lifted up a talent of lead, and this is a woman that sitteth in the midst of the ephah. And he said, This is wickedness, and he cast it into the midst of the ephah, and he cast the weight of lead upon the mouth thereof. Then lifted I up mine eyes, and looked, and behold, there came out two women, and the wind was in their wings, for they had wings like the wings of a stork, and they lifted up the ephah between the earth and the heaven. Then said I to the angel that talked with me, Whither do these bear the ephah? And he said unto me, To build it a house in the land of Shinar. And it shall be established and set there upon her own base. This video is about the biggest misinterpretation of the Bible for a long period of time. All the Bible translations just directly translated this part or parts of the scripture. Today we will look at these visions with our eyes and understanding. Try to look at this video with an open mind and understanding. What Ezekiel and Zechariah saw was not an angel or angels, but spaceships with a living creature inside the middle of the ship. Zechariah, on the other hand, was with a real angel when he saw the flying baskets with women in them. We now call these ships UFO or Unidentified Flying Objects. These are the same exact flying objects from Zechariah chapter 5 verse 5 to 11. Zechariah calls them flying baskets with a metal lid or cast iron on top. He also mentions a woman-like creature inside the baskets. Now you see how a picture is being created from two separate verses from two time periods. How would you describe an airplane if you saw it 3000 years ago? you would try describing it as an angel-like being with wings and creatures inside it. What about the lights on a plane? How would you describe them 3,000 years ago? You would describe them as eyes or shining eyes. One thing that both Ezekiel and Zachariah saw was human-like beings in the middle of these flying objects. The angel that was with Zechariah clearly tells him they are wicked, cursed beings. The angel did not call them angels, but rather earthly-bound beings. The ships these creatures are flying in are physical and not spiritual, meaning these creatures are also physical and not spiritual. The world is heading in the direction the Bible has prophesied it to head. We have been seeing alien spaceships on the news, the United States Congress stating that these ships have been around for the last 70 years, and people seeing human-like creatures mostly in South America. Also, know that nothing on the face of the Earth is new. Whatever is happening now has happened before, and whatever happened before will happen again. This video will upset a lot of religious folks because religious people have a closed mind and only want to look at things from a spiritual perspective. This story is about men who are having visions that started from earth and ended in heaven. So please be advised as the vision begins, they are on earth. When Ezekiel starts to see this vision, his human spirit or mind is removed from his body and it starts to be taken into heaven. He was being taken to the throne room of God. The physical human body can't enter heaven. So this entire experience was his human spirit. This was like an experience people have when they are dying or having a near death experience. Keep this in mind. Whatever he saw before reaching the firmament or crystal vault was in the earthly realm, and on top of the crystal was the spiritual realm, or heaven. Therefore he, the creature that he saw, 
was in the earthly realm, not heaven. Let us quickly describe Zechariah and Ezekiel's vision of the spaceship. The writers use the word like to show that they only resembled the appearance of these ships or things to something. 1. Design. It was designed like a gyroscope. A gyroscope is the only instrument in the world that can defy gravity when in motion, and no scientist has ever explained how this is possible, meaning these ships have a design humans will never understand. These ships are also circular in design. 2. Wings. They have wings that come out but not like airplane wings. These wings are subtle enough just to help the ship change direction. 3. Movement. They move in a straight line even when they turn. Unlike our normal airplanes, these ships do not curve as they turn. 4. Sound. Ezekiel mentions them sounding like a loud waterfall. This machine has a power source that makes it move just like our machines today. 5. Body. It is made from a shiny material that allows it to absorb sunlight energy, also making it durable. 6. The driver. It is being operated by human-like beings. 7. Top of the ship. The top is made of glass-like dome appearance for visibility of the driver. 8. Lights. The ship has large lights around it that can be very bright in dark places or at night. Ezekiel described the driver of the ship as being one with the ship, but he didn't fully understand that a vehicle driver is able to leave the vehicle. Zachariah, on the other hand, said the drivers are shut in the ship with a metal-like lid. This means that the alien survival is dependent on the ship. They can come out, but they need to mostly stay inside. Being mostly spotted in the atmosphere might be a way of charging these ships, also explains the shiny color of the ship that allows sunlight absorption. This is the story of one of the world's most misinterpreted Bible verses. Subscribe for more videos. Thank you.